You'll find Spaceport America in southern New Mexico, but only if you drive about an hour from the nearest town. What is a spaceport, though? Well, the space to be, according to its trademarked phrase. Alice Carruth gave us a tour and explained the facility in simple terms. So a spaceport is a lot like an airport to multiple airlines. We're just used by different vehicles that go to different altitudes towards space. So most of the vehicles here go well above the 30,000 feet that you would fly on a passenger plane um, and go right there up to about 77 and a quarter miles, which is our highest altitude to date. Behind her, the spaceport's most iconic building, the gateway to space. This terminal and hangar facility is used by the spaceport's largest tenant, Virgin Galactic. But a dozen customers, six permanent tenants, launch from Spaceport America, which is actually owned and operated by the state of New Mexico. Companies come to take advantage of almost 340 days of sunshine, low humidity, and clear skies to do research, development, engine and rocket motor testing, and launches. And we operate under 6,000 square miles of restricted airspace. That's larger than the state of Connecticut the most controlled airspace in the country except for a tiny block above the White House. Companies don't have to worry about passenger planes. The spaceport has complete access to the airspace without having to clear it with the FAA. From the ground to the sky, it's controlled by the Department of Defense. Ten states house spaceports, the Kennedy Space Center, for example. But the vast, unrestricted airspace in New Mexico is unique. Think of it like a layer cake. Sometimes their restrictions are between 10,000 and 30,000 feet, sometimes 30,000 to 50 feet. Um, but every time that there is a launch at any of those places, they have to make sure that they go through the FAA to make sure that the rest of the airspace is controlled and shut down. So every time there's a launch um, in Florida, they have to shut down all the passenger planes around it. But no matter where it is or what airspace is being used, I look forward to seeing what launches from these spaceports in the future.